Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So, in between finishing issue three of Morningstar and starting on thumbnails and layouts for issue four, I was sitting around doing a little exercise to try and help brush up on my anatomy. My figure drawing instructor, Carl Ganas, uh, you can see a link in the, uh, the comments section or in the description for this video, he recommended some books by uh, Robert Beverly Hale, who is an art instructor from New York back in the, uh, the early part of the 20th century, early mid part of the 20th century. And uh, he, the, the books that he have, uh, this particular one I'm drawing from is called Anatomy Lessons from the Great Masters. And he has two other ones. One is Drawing Lessons of the Great Masters, and I forget what the other one is, but it's another book of the Great Masters. And it's a really great collection of figure drawings, sketches, and studies from, well, as it says, the, the great masters. You know, artistic artists from all the way back to the Renaissance era through the, uh, the 1600s, 1800s, 1900s, so on and so forth. Um... And it's just looking at how a lot of people who really understand the human form and drawing very well, how they handle and, and study, you know, difficult drawing problems. These drawings I'm doing here are sketches from Jacopo Pontormo. And the idea behind these drawings is that I'm not trying to copy the drawing. I'm not trying to make a replication of Pontormo's work. What I'm trying to do is to understand what the structure of his drawings are. I'm looking at them, and if you have ever looked at, say, the drawings of George Bridgman, his drawings are very blocky, and they're kind of chunky in a way, sort of like a, an anatomy version of, uh, of Jack Kirby. But the thing they do is they very clearly define what it is that you're looking at. And that's what I'm trying to do is, I don't want to copy his drawings, but I want to break down these volumes into simple forms. You know, very simple volumes, a little bit more squared off, or or if they're rounded, very simple volumes. So, I will go in and I'll very lightly sketch, you know, sketch out the gesture of these figures, and then go in and try to draw my understanding of the artist's conception over it. Like, for instance, the one we're looking at now is a Michelangelo piece. And I'm trying to look at these drawings the same way I look at drawings when I'm actually in figure drawing class, when I'm looking at the model and I'm trying to, you know, describe their, their volume, their gesture, their direction, trying to get the proportions down. So it really is less about copying and trying to replicate what Michelangelo did because yeah, I mean, I would be lucky to be able to rec replicate Michelangelo's drawing craft. But my purpose in these is to better my understanding, not to be a carp of of the forms he's drawing, not to be a, a carbon copy of his work. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, check out my website, OpticHouse.com, for some comics, graphic novels, and art prints. Go be creative.